About four or five months ago, some of you may remember that I did do a setup video for a Biorb, and now I'm going to be rescaping it with some different decor. So let's find out what I'm going to be putting in. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. So as I said, I'm basically going to be rescaping this Biorb that I set up a fair few months ago. So this is what the tank looks like now, and I'm not lying when I say I've only touched it once in that whole time, and that was pretty much adding the second jellyfish in there, as you can see. Other than that, I've not gave it an algae wipe, I've not done a water change, I've done nothing at all. Which was kind of the intention of this whole tank setup anyway, I wanted it to be as minimal maintenance as possible for my nan. Anyway, so back to this video. My nan has actually been eyeing up a new centerpiece ornament and she really wanted the one with seahorses on it. So I thought if we're going down the seahorse route, we might as well rescape it for an ocean theme because at the moment it's freshwater uh, kind of look. And I know what you're saying, woohoo, <laughs> there's jellyfish in there, it's not freshwater. Well, there is actually a species of freshwater jellyfish. So I'll kind of just use that as uh, an excuse for having jellyfish in a freshwater tank. Nevertheless, if we're going down this saltwater kind of look, I'm going to be taking out the plants and putting in some brightly coloured ones so they kind of look a little bit like corally thingy majiggies. And here is the centerpiece ornament. Whoa! Magic, hey? Here's a close-up for you. And I mean, they're very realistic. It's almost uncanny. A horse walked into the bar and the barman said, why the wrong face? <laughs> I also got some of these sea urchins. I would have normally gone for the white ones because they'd be more realistic, but I went for the black ones because I've got a paler substrate, uh, big pebbles in the biob already. And so having the black is gonna be a nice bit of contrast. Plant wise, we've got some nice pinky ready thingies here actually brighten up a bit. And we also have some blue and purple stringy plants to go in there as well. Together, I think they're going to contrast each other quite nicely and really add another bright element to the whole sort of tank, really. Let's get on to scaping the tank. So I've just unplugged the air filter first and now let's get on with taking all of these ornaments out. Take the plants out now. Then the old moss balls. Ah, caught up with a jellyfish. Good job these ones don't sting, eh? I'm just gonna leave the jellyfish in for now, but now everything is out, I'm going to just give it a bit of an algae wipe, because, well, there's not really much, but it, it does need a little bit of a wipe, and it's not really algae, it's more of a biofilm sort of layer. And I'm only gonna use my hand for this, because I don't wanna scratch the acrylic. The great thing about using reverse osmosis water in the first place is the fact that I can't, when my hand's at the top, I can't even feel, let alone see any calcium or mineral buildup. So the health of the tank is still pretty much pristine. I think that will do for now. I don't know if it's just me, but it, it looks quite eerie and quite nice and aesthetically pleasing with just the jellyfish in. Nevertheless, I'm going to carry on putting the other stuff in. In the seahorses go. They can be prize possession kind of facing forward. I might move the old jellyfish back a bit so they're 
less obstructive of the, the seahorses. Let's put in these colourful plants now. Bit of pinky red in that corner, blue in, in the other. I don't know what I said in that corner because it's a sphere, so there's there's no corners. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, these ones are a little bit too tall for the tank. Have a look at that. Oh dear, I might have to kind of shove them down a little bit further. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the spiky sort of anemones to add into the mix of things. I forget how small this tank actually is sometimes, it's only 15 litres. Anyway, so I'm going to do a water change now just to get rid of all of the sort of floating particles that have come off the new items added and the algae but I kind of gave a little scrub down to begin with. So let's take that out. And then in with the new reverse osmosis water, or RO for short. Now if you also remember from last time, I'm going to be adding in some water feature algae treatment. And that's just going to keep on top of any algae that might potentially grow and stop it basically. So I'm going to dose this in. Now because there's not actually going to be any fish in there, I am going to overdose it. As I said, just to kind of keep maintenance down to the bare minimum. Put the evaporation plate back in. Oops, the water level is actually uh, up to the top. My bad. Let me turn the air bubbles back on now as well. So here is the rescape all done. I'm going to show you it properly in a little bit, but before I get onto that, I think the moral of this video, I, I've never really done morals in videos before, but everyone has different tastes and likes, and if you can appreciate what other people like, you can cater stuff around their tastes and make them happy, rather than just doing everything your way and hoping that people will like it, do something different and please someone else. I hope that kind of makes sense. It, it made sense when I thought of it. Anyway, let's showpiece this off to you guys in a bit of a cinematic way. Over to you.
I'm just chilling with my best buddy Tank. Tom Tank. Brumch. Isn't that right? Yes, we're just chilling on a Sunday afternoon. It's not Sunday, it's Wednesday. Shh, why am I having a conversation with the Tank anyway? If you did like this video then whack that thumbs up. Obviously if you liked Escape as well, let me know what your favourite part is. Personally I think it is quite colourful, but it, it's kind of grown on me a bit. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you want to see more shrimpy and fishy content, obviously aquarium setups as well, then hit that subscribe button. I shall see you in another video. See you later. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep things shrimple, simply shrimps. Do 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 do. Yeah!